Hello wither, I am John Grotel with more Earthbound. Oh man, I forgot, I meant, I meant to read that sign. Hold on, you have to wait, oh, man, I guess, man, he's not really old. Okay, so in the last part, we went through this brick, um, basement, or not basement, but maze, dungeon, I mean, and we also, before that, we wrote on Tessie, which the watching Tessie club didn't even look, get a good look at Tessie when she, um, rose out of the water when Bubble Monkey actually blew a bubble and then landed on her head, basically, as she was rising from the water. I'm gonna call her Tessie as she, I guess. And, uh, yeah, the... <laughs> watching Tessie Club missed their chance, I guess, because they didn't do a thing about that when the, um, Tessie came out of the water. So yeah, we went through also the Brick Dungeon, as I said, Brick Road Dungeon. So let's talk to this guy. Maybe it was too easy? My name is Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, being combined my skill, well, by my combined skills and Dr. And Donuts, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna pronounce it And Donuts for some reason and donuts intelligence i can be i can become dungeon man the first combination of human and dungeon in history let's meet again and once i have become dungeon man would you like to uh, would you like to get a good night's rest of course yes thank you i love that chime but -da 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 -da. that was a really bad interpretation of what it actually sounded like take care come back again okay so yeah, we basically came out of there, and basically, you can't- what, I said basically too many times in that sentence, like I did before. Anyway, uh, we don't have the pencil eraser because that's with Ness and Paula, so um, we had to go through that brick road, and that's like the only thing that we- that you could skip over basically if you hacked the game and had like a pencil eraser with you. But it wasn't too bad, I mean, we got a lot of experience too, and a lot of good items. Speaking of which, um, I already have full health. Jeff already has full health, so I'm gonna actually wait on it. I was gonna use one of my items because I have a full inventory. Jeff has a full inventory right now. But yeah, let's go through this cave. Oh, Rowdy Mouse, let's take him on. Oh, I think it's- I think we're powerful enough to beat it. Oh, I was wrong. Okay, here's the, um... What are they called again? Attack slugs. I can't believe I can figure out that. I'm gonna attack that first because that's the easiest to take out. Yeah, that's already became tame. Let's take down the Rowdy Mouse then. Let's shoot the Rowdy Mouse with our stun gun. Because we equipped it in the last part. That's also what we did. We found a stun gun in a present box. And we, um, you know, equipped it. Because it did, like, it raised our attack, I think, by eight, 8 points or something. Jeff is now level 7. Offense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Okay, so I'm going to actually use a healing item now. So let's see. I'm going to use a... Oh, I have a lot of stuff. But I'm going to use a bread roll. Max out, okay. You're back up to 47 HP because you gained one more HP from the level up, Jeff. Good job. Good job. Okay, these are Antoids, I think. I can't remember the exact name. Nope, they're attack slugs. They could be either Antoids or attack slugs. I forgot about that. It's been a while since we actually beat one, battled one of these, you know? It's been since, like, the first Sanctuary dungeon, basically. Uh, back in Onet, you know? It's been a while. Anyway, they both became tame easily because they were really weak, but they give off defense and experience because we're playing as Jeff right now, and he's only level 7 right now, so that's good. Rowdy Mouses, okay. Rowdy Mice, I should say. Okay. Oh, another attack slug though came too. Okay, I'm gonna shoot the attack slug first. Even though, because it's just the easiest to take out, I might as well just do that. Yeah, it already became tame. Let's take out the Rowdy Mouse. As I'm doing this Let's Play, I like I really love this game as I'm playing through it, mostly blind. Or with with a guide, I should say, from Trigger Count White. But um, I really like this game. I, I really do like this game. I think it really has good mechanics and little Easter eggs, as I said before. Like, it's a Mario and Donkey Kong arcade games back in O'Net and the, at the game arcade, you know? I really started to like this game, and I've ever since part one, I've liked this game. I liked this game before I LP'd it. I just, I this is my first time actually going through it with help, you know? And when I'm stuck, at least. But yeah. It's just really nice, and I I really wish I could have played this game earlier. I'm now 20 years old when I'm recording this. I'm recording this on March 19th of 2017. This probably won't be able to tell in mid-May, I would guess. But, um, yeah, maybe even sooner, actually. But, uh, I really like this game. I wish I played this game earlier in my life. I had chances to. Like, I played it a little bit when I got on the Wii Virtual Console, but I really never got really into it until I had the motivation to, like, do this as an LP. So yeah, anyway, Jeff, uh, Jeff leveled up to level 8. I just want to get that little spiel out. Okay, offense offense went up by 1. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. That's awesome. IQ went up by 1, which is good too. Luck went up by 1. Max HP went up by 13. Wow. That's great. So now he has like 50 HP, I think, of max HP. Because 47 plus 13 is 15. Is, uh, f not 15, but 50. 
There's a hamburger inside. Ness takes it. Okay, cool. I think I have a full of inventory now again. Or Ness, uh, not Ness, but Jeff has a full inventory. I realize that, like, in Jeff is J-E-F-F, -F, but, like, N Ness is, like, N-E-F-F. N-E-S, that's my bad. Because, like, it has double, it has two number, two letters next to each other, like, S S and Ness, and then F F and Jeff. And then it has a number, or not a number, but a letter, and then, um, E. So it's N-E and J. E, so I thought that was really cool. I don't think that had to do anything with like naming these characters in this game But I thought that, I just noticed that like that was really cool the, the names have like a similar build to it I guess you could say if I don't know if I'm talking any sense right now So I apologize if you're confused. I just noticed that how the names were spelled basically We won 61 experience. Yay Okay, do I need a heal? Does Jeff need a heal? I don't think so. Okay, we're good for now Okay, here's um the rambling evil mushrooms or whatever Let's go, boy. Uh, Strutton Evil Mushroom. Okay, cool. Okay. Bubblegum, bubblegum, bubblegum monkey did his job by weakening a little bit more and Jeff finished it off with the stun gun. Haha. <laughs> Jeff gained 95 experience points. Cookie, yay, but Jeff can't carry any more of this. Uh, I'm not gonna take the cookie. The cookie, I'm just gonna leave behind. Jeff is gonna forcibly have to leave the cookie behind because I'm controlling him basically. Ha ha ha. I am the controller now. Although I've been the controller of all these characters so the whole let's play. Okay, is there anything over here? Oh wait, there's a present. Um, I think that I need to eat something though because I have a full. Yeah, bread roll, okay. Maxed out to 60, awesome. Nice. Okay, let's open this present. Uh, it's a bottle rocket inside. Nice. That'll be helpful later, I'm pretty sure. Now, um, I'm gonna go up here first and climb up the rope. I'm gonna, this is a little puzzle which I'll get to in a second. I just wanna cover this side of the mountain, I guess, cause it kinda looks like mountains, but it's kinda like a cliff too. I don't know. Strutting in, oh my gosh, just, just bashing guys, you got this. Come on, Bubba Monkey, come on, Jeff, we can do this. We got this, we got this. Come on, one of them's gotta be tamed soon. Okay, cool. I think Bubba Monkey took out that, um, mushroom with a smash attack. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, they stopped moving, nice. They're not dead, they're not alive anymore, basically. Jeff is not level 9, offensive went up by 1, IQ went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 2. Uh, well, not the worst level up, I guess. I think level 3 or 4, when you get good level 3 or 4, or maybe even 2, was a bad level up. Only one stat raise, basically, as I remember. Hopefully. Okay, let's see, um, Croissant. His HP maxed out. Cool, Jeff, you got full HP now. Oh, uh, we have to face these. Okay, hopefully we can beat them without even going to battle. Of course we don't. Okay, we get a surprise attack though. Surprise opening attack. Nice. Oh my gosh, how could the one not go tame yet? There we go. Nice. You stop moving. Cool. Let's, let's take out this other mushroom guy. Dang it. He's doing high damage on Jeff. Take him out. There we go. You stop moving too. Cool. Present. It's a cookie. Yes, we'll take it. We'll eat it immediately, actually, because that takes up a spot in Jeff in Jeff's inventory, which we don't want. So yeah. Okay, cool. Up here is another present, I guess. Oh, of course, we have to take on this mushroom guy. <laughs> we have to take on this toad, guys. Let's take him. Let's take him out. Make sure he doesn't breathe after we're done with him. <laughs> that sounded really dark, actually. But we take him out anyway. Stop moving. Close enough. Yeah, present. Of course, it was a cookie. Ness took it. Jeff is now level 10. Off defense went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. But IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 1. Again, not the worst level up for Jeff so far. Okay, so let's eat that cookie so we can have room for this next item. Which is a... It's a cheap bracelet. Ooh, we'll equip that now. Because that's good for his body. Or arm, I should say. Cheap bracelet. There we go. So, like... Hold on. Let me just... And... Okay, hold on, I have to say none, okay. So his defense right now is 17, so if we put the cheap voice, it raises up 5 points to 22. So that's pretty cool. So let's go back down to where we saw that little rope on the cliff. Oh my gosh. Now, back attacks won't, this won't count as back attack as you're climbing down, because you can't really help it. Oh my gosh, we took out that roadie mouse in one hit, without even going to battle. Come on, just, just come on. Okay, we have to battle you. I thought we could skip you and just skip back to where we automatically beat you, but okay, whatever. Okay, yeah, Bob Monkey was scratching his head there for a second, so he didn't even attack in that turn. Okay, cool. That's cool. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to eat the hamburger we got earlier in this part. 
hamburger use. Okay, Jeff eats the hamburger. And by said, when I said I, I meant Jeff. So right here, there's this rope, but you can't get to it. So what do you have to do? You just have to call in your bubble monkey. Okay. What the heck? I want you to face towards me. Come on, face towards me. Jeez. Oh my gosh, I can't do that for some reason. Because it'll wrap you or you go the other way. Fine, whatever. Okay. Get over here, bubble monkey. M bubble monkey, stop. That's my fault because I keep on directing you wrong. But come on. Okay, there we go. Fine, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go to goods. I'm going to go, go to the pack of gum. Pack of bubble gum use. The bubble monkey took a piece of the bubble gum. Shoot it and started blowing. A bubble, right? Because uh, you didn't really finish that sentence properly. So you ended up with the, the bubble gum started blowing. Okay, that could really end. Okay, now I didn't mean to make that the sex joke there, but I had to point it out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to correct. I don't know why I did that actually. Okay, let's just climb this rope before I regret anything else I say. Okay, so let's take on this um mushroom guy. Yeah, this is so exciting. Also, we saw this sanctuary boss sparkle right there, right? Sanctuary boss possibly be there? Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to see in a second. You know, Jeff is okay. Jeff got 95 expense off the present. Of course, you got a cookie. Jeff took it. Okay, we're gonna eat that cookie right away because I don't want it in, my, in Jeff's inventory. Okay, cool. So let's take on this boss. I think Jeff is level 10, so he can totally take on this sanctuary boss. Let's take him on. Only Ness can absorb the power of this place. Okay, yeah, because we don't have the soundstone, so uh, only can't battle him or the boss. I don't know if it's him or her, but yeah. Oh man, okay. Yeah, let's go here. Iki, Iki, Iki. Now she's my type. Oh, there's a monkey. K -k 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 -k. I think I'll ask her for a date. <laughs> I can't do monkey sounds that well, so sorry. Okay, they go up there. Does this mean that bubble monkey's gonna leave us? I don't know. Hmm. He went all the way up there. Okay, so I'm gonna end the part right here. Uh, so this has been the my Earthbound Let's Play part. Next part will take on more of the snowy area, I guess. So this has been Giant Go again. Alright, thank you for watching again. Goodbye. And see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.